What's up guys? Today we are talking about one of my biggest pet peeves in RC and that is the ever dreaded stickered windows on RCs, particularly with crawlers. But crawlers, bashers, you name it, if it has stickers on the windows, I just, I don't know, I don't like it. So um, this is my crawler here and I was going to, uh, previously I've seen other videos where people had cut these out. These windows and glued Lexan from the inside, clear pieces, and you certainly could do that. But uh, I was watching Hemi Storms. I'm gonna just go ahead and start this process because it's gonna take a while while I talk. I was watching Hemi Storms uh, video on the Red Cat Gen 8, and he was able to, with wet sanding, um, get his windows clear. And so I've kind of begun that process. Still have some work to do, but honestly. Uh, one thing I do like about this method is that you don't damage the integrity or the strength of your body by cutting holes in it. Uh, it's not so bad. So here's the, some of the things I'm going to be doing to uh, try to achieve the same look. So I got the sticker pulled off and this window is the inside right here. So it's got a black coat and a gray silver lining coat. Here's the process of basically what he described, and I'm going to kind of do the same thing. Really fine sandpaper. This happens to be 600. People uh, generally start off with this and maybe go even finer, but at my local hardware store, 800 was the most fine they had, so that's where I'm stopping. And uh, after that, I'm going to give it a shot of just get some rubbing compound and, or, and then probably finish it off with some clear polish, and I'm hoping that gives me the results that I'm looking for. I've kind of done it right here so far. Um, it's a little foggy, and I can tell you, uh, I'll probably try to continue in another video, or I might just tack that uh, video onto this. It's a little foggy, but that's just because the biggest pain in the butt with this whole thing is when you take these stickers off, the, the glue residue that's still left on here. So I'm still trying to uh, get that cleared up. So I'm hoping that's a little bit more clear, but even if it is a little bit foggy, it is see-through and it certainly couldn't be any worse than those brown stickers. So let's, uh, let's see how this is done. So this is the process of wet sanding. So if you have a utility sink, even better, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. Just going to use some hot water, maybe a little bit of dish, just one little drop of dish soap to kind of in there, get it running nice and smooth. The water's already hot from before. And I'm just getting enough water in there so I can start this process. Hopefully you can see what I'm gonna do here. Look how quick this actually works. This is why this process isn't isn't, isn't so so bad. Um, Go in multiple directions. See, right now I'm seeing all the black, so that means the gray is gone. And if I keep going like so, pretty soon I'll start to see the clear coming through also. We'll go through a lot of these sandpapers when you're doing this, but that's okay. See, it's definitely getting more clear now. I don't know if you guys can pick that up or see my finger on the opposite side. The middle part's always the fastest part. It's doing these edges kind of takes a little bit longer. Okay, it's by no means a finished product, but I'm just going to give you updates. Okay, what was that, like 40 seconds of work or something like that? Not bad at all. Let's keep going. I might have to tear off myself a new piece too. This one's getting pretty soaked. By no means uh, expert, so if you have any better ideas of how to do this wet sanding, it's a new process to me. Let me know in the comments. I'm kind of exploring as I'm making this video, but that's okay. Anything I do right or wrong, you can kind of learn along with me. Getting close. Why you want to tear off tiny little pieces because there's a tiny little line on the left side here that I want to get. You know, 
not too bad. And voila. We're, we're getting there. Got to get the glue residue out there. I'm going to try the rubbing compound also and then finish off the polish with any scratches I might have done. Although, honest, we'll see. The biggest part I want to do is see if I can get this glass to be less foggy looking. I'll see. No guarantees at this point. This is my first time doing it. Um, thanks a lot.